okay so in the last session we have just discussed about file okay now in this particular session we will be discussing about how to open how to open and close a file okay right so as you know how to declare a file in the last class we have discussed so file then we put a pointer okay so we know now that fp is nothing but a file pointer okay so now in order to open uh, in order to open uh, this file we have a function which is called as app open so app open right okay so now the thing is that app open function will be taking two arguments one is the name of the file that you want to open and which particular mode we want to open okay so so we will talk take about you know the file to open okay and and the mode okay so mode usually we have read okay write okay happen again many more but with this i will discuss we'll just right now just know about you know read write and happen so now when you are going to open a file okay now this particular uh, uh, uh when you open a file the app open will return a pointer okay yes which will be pointing to the first character of the particular file so okay so let's say and that will be will stored in the fp so we have now uh, we write like this fp equal to f open okay that function then we write suppose we want to open this file sample dot txt okay and we want to open in the right read mode okay now here yes, you see closely so notice this is the f open function okay taking the argument what the file name okay and the mode so i put the mode to be the read okay now once this particular file will will going to uh, find by f open it will return up it will return a point uh, it will return the address of the first you know uh, what is the address of the first character of the file okay point so now this address this fp will store that address so now fp will point to nothing but the first character of the file okay so we'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll f open will will just uh, you know uh, we will return the address okay right so now we have just to, to see whether if if it doesn't return if doesn't define the file okay he will not return the address so he will return what he will return null so i will write like this f if fp equal to equal to null means we are unable to open the file okay so we will write here printf okay printf okay unable to open the open the file okay and then since we are available there is no point of uh, continue the program so we write exit one okay so we'll exit from here and this particular function is is written in this header file so process dot that's the reason why i have put process dot h okay fine or otherwise if we are able to open like we write printf we'll write okay well we can open open the file okay right okay so after that whatever operation we want to do we have to do and then after that okay we have to close the file for that we have the function f close f close and just pass the pointer the file will be closed so whenever you open a file it is always necessary that we should close the file right okay so let me uh, you know, i create a file pointer okay then i use a function f open then the file that i want to open is sample.txt uh, and this is in the read mode and if f is equal to null printf unable to open the file okay and exit or you like printf we can open the file and close okay right so i save it okay now let me show you something which is important so that you can understand now this sample not txt okay is stored in where it's stored in this particular you know under this folder yes and this is the sample right and my uh, program names actually I put as pointer to PP, uh, CPP. Okay, there only I've done. So this this is there. 
right? So they are in the same place, and that's the reason why I'm simply writing sample.txt. Okay, so now I save it. Okay, and then I execute it. See, we can open the file. I think you can see it. Right? Now let us do one thing. Now let us remove this file from here. Okay, I cut it. Okay, and I create one folder, say files files and I store here okay now this file is there okay but sample file is not there and let me execute the program now so you see unable to open the file because we have said here it is the address actually okay right oh uh, sorry the uh, file name along with the address itself. since we have not put the address be, uh, before because we have seen that the same the file name okay right that's the uh, the the C program file okay and the sample you know text was in the same folder right now since they are not in the same folder you are not able to now you have to give the path now you have to put the path okay the path is where the path is because this program is inside uh, inside this okay and this file is inside that so I just write here now files okay and then I write sample.txt then I save it okay then I again execute and you can see we can open the file okay now suppose I remove this folder from here and I go back and I store somewhere in D drive okay then what I have to do I have to completely write here the part so d drive colon slash okay right then you know file dot you know uh, like that we have to keep the complete part okay please understand in some kind of you know uh, uh, compiler you may have to put double slash okay because of the escape sequence and all these things but here in this particular compiler we are not putting double single slashes only one thing okay so let me summarize in order to open a file we have to use the function app open okay and two arguments we have to give the name of the file okay if the program and the sample file is in the same location otherwise if it is there in a different location you have to give the complete part then followed by what particular mode you want to open the file whether you are to put in the read file or read mode write mode append mode Right. So once the FP files the file, the file, it will, it will, it will, it will. Uh, what you say, return the address. Okay. So address. So FP will be now pointing to nothing but the first character of the particular file. Okay. Right. So FP will be storing the address. Okay. Now, if you cannot, if the file is not found, okay, then F open will return null. So that's the reason why I have written if FP equal to null means you are not able to find the file so print f unable to find the file and there is no point continue so i write exit so uh, i un abnormal termination of program i have done and exit and, and this is written on the process dot h now if it is open if it is there okay so fp now points to the first character okay in the subsequent session we will see how we can use fp in order to read and write into the file okay so i have written print f we open the file now whenever you open the file we need to close the file because we may open a file for the right read purpose again we need to open the file for the right purpose we need to do for the append purpose so any kind of things uh, you may require in order to open the file as an as because of that it is always advisable that we should close the file and to close the file simply app close and just pass the pointer yes the pointer that is fp here okay